Hey guys, Lord Naron White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the second book of the Chronicles, chapter 30. And Hezekiah sent to all Israel and Judah, and wrote letters also to Ephraim and Manasseh, that they should come to the house of the Lord at Jerusalem to keep the Passover unto the Lord God of Israel. For the king had taken counsel, and his princes and all the congregation in Jerusalem, to keep the Passover in the second month. For they could not keep it at that time, because the priests had not sanctified themselves sufficiently, neither had the people gathered themselves together to Jerusalem. And the thing pleased the king and all the congregation, so they established a decree to make proclamation throughout all Israel, from Beersheba even to Dan, that they should come to keep the Passover unto the Lord God of Israel at Jerusalem, for they had not done it of a long time in such, in such sort as it was written. So the posts went with the letters from the king and his princes throughout all Israel and Judah, and according to the commandment of the king, saying, Ye children of Israel, Turn again the Lord God unto the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and he will return to the remnant of you that are escaped out of the hand of the kings of Assyria. And be not ye like your fathers, and like your brethren which trespassed against the Lord God of their fathers, who therefore gave them up to desolation as ye see. Now be ye not stiff-necked as your fathers were, but yield yourselves unto the Lord, and enter into his sanctuary, which he hath sanctified forever, to serve the Lord your God, from the fierceness of his wrath may turn away from you. For if ye turn again unto the Lord, your brethren and your children shall find compassion before them that led them captive, so that they shall come again into this land. For the Lord your God is gracious and merciful, and will not turn away his face from you if ye return unto him. So the posts passed from city to city through the country of Ephraim and Manasseh, even unto Zebulun, but they laughed them to scorn and mocked them. Nevertheless, divers of Asher and Manasseh and of Zebulun humbled themselves and came to Jerusalem. Also in Judah, the hand of God was to give them one heart to do the commandment of the king and of the princes, and by the word of the Lord. And there assembled at Jerusalem much uh, people to keep the feast of unleavened bread in the second month, a very great congregation. And they arose and took away the altars that were in Jerusalem, and all the altars for, for incense they took they away, and cast them into the brook Kidron. They, then they killed the Passover on the fourteenth day of the second month, and the priests and the Levites were ashamed, and sanctified themselves, and brought in the burnt offerings into the house of the Lord. And they stood in their place after their manner. According to the law of, of Moses, the man of God, the priests sprinkled the blood which they had received of the hand of the Levites. For there were many in the congregation that were not sanctified. Therefore the Levites had the charge of the killing of the Passovers, for every one of that was not clean to sanctify them unto the Lord. For a multitude of the people, even many of Ephraim and Manasseh, Issachar and Zebulun, had not cleansed themselves, Yet did they eat the Passover otherwise than it was written? But Hezekiah prayed for them, saying, The good Lord pardon every one that prepareth his heart to seek God, the Lord God of his fathers, though he be not cleansed according to the purification of the sanctuary. And the Lord hearkened to Hezekiah and healed the people. And the children of Israel that were present at Jerusalem kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days with great gladness, and the Levites and the priests praised the Lord day by day, singing with loud instruments unto the Lord. And Hezekiah spake comfortably unto all the Levites that taught the good knowledge of the Lord, and they did eat throughout the feast seven days, offering peace offerings and making confession to the Lord God of their fathers. And the whole assembly took counsel to keep other seven days, and they kept other seven days with gladness. For Hezekiah, king of Judah, did give to the congregation a thousand bullocks and seven thousand sheep, and the princes gave to the congregation a thousand bullocks and ten thousand sheep, and a great number of priests sanctified themselves. And all the congregation of Judah, with the priests and the Levites, and all the congregation that came out of Israel, and the strangers that came out of the land of Israel, and that dwelt in Judah rejoiced. There was great joy in Jerusalem, 
For since the time of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, there was not the like in Jerusalem. Then the priest, the Levite, arose and blessed the people, and their voice was heard, and their prayer came up to his holy dwelling place, even unto heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So this uh, this is really quite a beautiful chapter here. So Hezekiah, if we if we look back to 2 Chronicles 29, 2, um, it says, And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that David his father had done. This is referring to Hezekiah, um, of course, uh, who reigns 9 and 20 years in Jerusalem. And uh, it's really quite beautiful because when we look at chapter 30, it talks about, in, the, in, in verse 1, we get the introduction of what's going to happen over the course of the chapter. It says, And Hezekiah sent to all Israel and Judah and wrote letters also to Ephraim and Manasseh that they should come to the, to the house of the Lord of Jerusalem to keep the Passover unto the Lord God of Israel. And so very, very beautiful stuff. And by the time we get to, um, you know, this, this, this whole chapter talks about, you know, doubling down on and believing in the Lord, um, you know, making sure you don't trespass, um, you know, it, it, it's trespass the Lord. And, of course, um, we, we get that, you know, you know, uh, you know, offering peace offerings, etc., etc. And uh, really quite a very beautifully written chapter um, in terms of we see Hezekiah being recognized for his greatness. Um, you know, we, we get that opportunity to recognize him. And um, that's so important because he does he does well um, to continue to enrich uh, God's kingdom and I, by enrich in this case I mean you know, turn the kingdom back to the Lord you know enrich the, the spirit of the people you know the spirits of the people lift up their spirits and turn them to the Lord their God and why do I say that's especially important um, is because if you remember in one of the previous chapters here um, we read about how um, you know, Jotham did well, right? But the people still co did corruptly. So, um, and then of course, Ahaz, Ahaz was bad. Um, Ahaz was really quite bad. He uh, walked in the ways, he made also molten images for Balaam. So really bad, really bad stuff. And we talked about Ahab in yesterday's video, where of course he cuts the, cut in pieces the vessels of the house of God. So really bad guy. And, um, What's so powerful, honestly, about, um, like, uh, like, one of the things, I won't say powerful, it is so, so unique. Uh, when I look at the history of uh, the, the Jews in the Old Testament, there seems no explanation why some of the, line, the Davidic line is, like, so good. Like, Hezekiah is so good. But Hezekiah is Ahaz's son. And Ahaz is horrible. Ahaz is an abomination. But then Hezekiah is like the most regal king, and he's like this great king, and like like David is like so perfect, you know. And even Solomon in the first half of his life is so good. But then Rehoboam is horrible, like Rehoboam is terrible, and like it doesn't even make sense sometimes, like why this happens. But like it, it's they're definitely each their own man. It's it's not like we've had this like we've not had like this smooth ride like from David to uh, Hezekiah. It's definitely had its ups and downs. And of course, like, that's what's so shocking to me. Like, you have these, like, really good apples, and then you have these really bad apples. <laughs> and, you know, so right now we're in a really good time, and that's what's really good, because um, the land is, uh, is being turned to the Lord their God. And um, that is, uh, you know, that's going to work out. <laughs> you know, that's absolutely going to work out. Um, so... Yeah, really quite beautiful stuff there in chapter 30. And so with that, I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Dive video. Since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I worked my software developer job, I worked at my core, I uploaded and scheduled my Daily Dive video for 328.23, and I have created, uploaded, and scheduled this Daily Dive video for 329.23. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you. I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.